Greetings, and welcome to the game of Hobbit. Today we are back with some more small but nifty mods, where mods that are too small to be featured for their own video will be put into a video like this. Starting off, we have Extra Food Recipes by Gwet1440. Extra Food Recipes aims to make existing food items have extra uses by adding 12 new foods to create. When consumed, each food item grants a different potion effect, most being positive, whilst few are negative such as granting water breathing from mucky or speed with apple juice. On average, potion effects last around 30 to 40 seconds, giving an ample amount of time to perform a specific action, from saving yourself to accessing areas deemed dangerous. Overall, it's a nice mixture of foods to craft that are useful for scenarios where potions are overkill. Elytras are seen as an endgame item to seek out, giving players a means to fly around their worlds but considering their specialty, they're not customizable. Fortunately, the mod Customizable Elytra by Hidoni can let you make your Elytra suit to your tastes. Firstly, Elytras can be dyed to any color, done in the same manner as dyeing leather items, whether it's using a singular or a combination of dyes. For some extra style to them, banner designs can be applied as a means to display your deeds throughout Minecraft, or to show your allegiance to a particular faction. Applying colours to elytras with banner designs, however, will hide the banner design completely, so keep in mind about that before making your own stylized elytra. What makes this mod stand out from other elytra customization mods is the ability to apply designs to each wing separately. By splitting an elytra in half, each half can be customized individually and reassembled together to create different designs for one elytra. No fear of losing your enchanted or named elytra to the colours either for any enchantments or names on an elytra will carry over during the process. Want to restart a design you're not satisfied with? Use a cauldron to wash away the colour and banner designs, making the process as repeatable as you want. To top the mod off, customizable elytra is compatible with Colytra and mods to have banner designs, including ice and fire. Customizable elytra integrates elytra customization into a vanilla mechanic seamlessly, like it belongs in vanilla already providing the means to stylize the item that is sought out by every survival player to their tastes. What Minecraft lacks in its decoration department is blocks to make ambient sounds. Fortunately, Chimes by Ross TMK is a simple and small mod to fulfill your needs. Chimes adds two wind chimes to hang throughout your world, playing peaceful musical sounds based off their material. Bamboo chimes produce hollow and clacking sounds, Metal chimes, on the other hand, produce metallic and tinkling sounds. They can be interacted with directly as well, making for some creative doorbells. Chimes to ambient sounds offers the player peaceful sounds to listen to when in their base, and is an amazing mod to have to make your world more peaceful. The future plans to incorporate crystal chimes and a means to reset insomnia sounds promising, so be sure to check the mod page for future updates. And finally, bats are not only one of the most annoying mobs in the game, but one of the most useless too. For any of you who wanted to make them more useful, then Cold's Useful Bats by Cold Spell Games will be a mod to check out. Bats will have a chance to drop an adventurous pouch when slain. Whilst this may seem like a simple loot bag that drops static items, it instead drops different tiered items depending on what your current equipped gear and tools are. Having only a stone pick equipped for example would yield junk items, but having a full set of netherite gear equipped would result in the bag dropping items like diamonds, enchanted gear and emeralds more frequently. In addition, the adventurous pouch has a chance to drop two new items, the enchanted stone and the melon fork. The enchanted stone acts as a portable enchantment table able to enchant items equipped in the offhand slot, useful for seeking powerful enchantments on the get-go. Melon forks on the other hand, act as a fast unbreakable weapon. With a melon slice stuck to them however, they make the perfect item to lure bats to dark places. Be careful, you might get Batman's attention as well. Cole's useful bats also adds bat guano, an item that living bats drop randomly. Bat guano can act as a substitute for bone meal, or, when mixed with the water bucket, can make slime, a perfect alternative if you don't want to slay your own kin. Living bats also have a rarer chance to drop glittering guano, 
a rarer variant that drops various items when sifted through. Overall, Cold's useful bats makes bats useful with a unique twist to the loot bag system, and in a way, makes the loot balanced by directly tying it to the current gear the player has equipped. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully this video provided you with some more small but nifty mods to add to your fine collection. As usual, links to check out all the mods used in the video are in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.